Well, here we are working back on the trailer today. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna get all the trailer brakes working. So if you guys don't know about trailer brakes, um, this is kind of the wrong video, um, but it's about me. So I have electric trailer brakes on it, which means the brakes do not work when the trailer's going backwards. They only work when they're going forwards. And I don't think they're all working and they might even be worn down, but I'm pretty sure some of the cables are broken like wires get into them. Some of them have hydraulic brakes, but mine is, is electric. So what I've done is I've hooked the negative from my battery booster up to my trailer. I'm pretty sure it's this one. Maybe this one? That one right there turns on the trailer brakes. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to engage the trailer brakes and then I'm going to try to spin them to see which ones work and which ones don't. This one works, but it needs adjusting. That one works, needs adjusting. That one works, needs adjusting. Oh my god, they all work! So that is actually a huge, huge Surprise to me is that they all work. All season, I thought I only had two. I thought I had one on this side and one on that side, but I actually have four. So that makes this job a lot easier. So I'm going to use that method up there where I ground the battery charger and I'm even going to do lights to find out which lights work and which lights don't work. So that'll be a separate video. And even blinkers, running lights, power to the winch, all that fun stuff. That's how I test when I don't have a truck hooked up. But as of right now, I'm pretty happy that uh, they all work. Saves me a lot, a lot of time. So, which one's the easiest? You know what I think? This is this. So the tools I have to pull this apart are quite simple. I have a clean spot to put all my bearings. I have a rag, which is clean again, which will be dirty in no time. I have a screwdriver that I built with a hook on it, and I like it. I just got a flathead screwdriver. This one here's got a bend on it. it. Doesn't need a bend. And a hammer. Pretty simple tools. So I have the rubber tipped dust caps. And what that is, it, you overfill it and then it pushes out on the rubber. And then when it heats up, it pushes out. And when it cools down, it sucks in the oil, the grease, sorry. So this is full. I'll probably put new grease into that, but I'm going to probably say that. Like the grease in the back of that still looks brand new. So that will probably get all new grease though. So that's the first thing. Second thing is there's this little locking ring that goes on. I'm just gonna pull it off. It slides underneath of itself. Now every axle is gonna be different. But this is the style of mine. I'm not sure what make of axle they are, but it's a Carmate trailer. There. So the locking ring comes off. Now, you're supposed to have quite a bit of preload onto these. So if you just take it and loosen it with your screwdriver. Just like that. Then you can just wheel her off by hand. Now this is where the tricky part comes in. Behind this nut is a washer with a machined flat for the axle. Just give it a little jiggle and pull and then push it back in. And then the washer comes off and the outer bearing comes off. And then you remove the whole hub assembly. Ugh. That's how easy this stuff comes apart. Trailers are designed to come apart nice and easy. Just gonna take my nice clean rag, give that a wipe. Axle still looks to be in good shape. There's no burnt, no spun bearings. It looks to be in very, very good condition. Brake pads. Okay, they're not bad. They're a little worn, but...
but I might price them out just the brake pads. I don't need the the mechanism. Well, after looking at all the brakes on this thing, um, these ones here are pretty worn down. You can see how far they are actually worn down. And then you come to ones like this that this thing seized. So I'm going to look into getting four new backing plates. You know, I didn't really want to get four new backing plates, but it looks like I'm going to have to. So it looks like this job might be a little bit bigger and more expensive than I was kind of hoping for. Um, so yeah, going to phone around, get some prices on backing plates and uh, stuff like that. Um, I have been painting the trailer little bits every day, mostly until I just get bored and stop. Uh, heavy rust paint going on super thick. Painted over all the old yellow stickers because we're getting a new one again. So, just left the VIN tag of the trailer. So we got this side pretty much painted. I've counted out how many lights I needed, so I'm probably going to buy those while I'm buying the backing plates. And then uh, we're probably going to go underneath and clean up some of the wiring later on and probably paint a little bit underneath there because paint is a great shield against rust and as you can see the bottom of this trailer is getting beat up pretty good with some rust i want to take a look at that cylinder as well now that is not a full hydraulic cylinder that is just a slow open slow close cylinder so it's got a little cushion in it um we're going to grease all the i did this side already grease the leaves which is here. Uh, these ones here are not greasable. Uh, we're going to just kind of grease the back here, which is just a pin, which is again, not greasable. And then pretty much just go from there. Uh, this side here, they're worn quite a bad a bit as well, but again, they move freely on this side. So it's just that one that doesn't move freely. So I'm going to go take a look for some parts and see what I can come up with and stuff like that. But we did start cleaning up these discs, uh, the drums. We're going to reuse these because these are not bad. There's no big grooves in them. I caught them before they did any damage. Seals are good. Bearings are good. Uh, I did clean up one set of bearings. So... This here is the bearing I cleaned up uh, for the cost of it. It's got a little bit of play, not a lot. I think I might replace that. Second phone call in one video. That's getting pretty impressive. But I'm gonna price these things out too. Uh, the inners feel fine, just the outers have a little bit of play. You know, they're not bad, they're not cooked, they're not spun, but if they're like eight bucks, might as well do it. I think they're okay, but if I'm this far in it, I might as well do it. So I think that's going to do it for this video on the trailer. We got the hub assembly off, and we're just going to buy the new backing plates. New everything. So then we'll just have to wire them up. That won't be too easy. Sorry, too hard. And then we'll go from there. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you back here tomorrow.